What is red point and what is red point square? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm gonna to introduce you to two of the very newest, brand new villages in Summerlin, Red Point and Red Point Square, which these two villages are gonna be the new gateway to Summerlin West. And Red Point and Red Point Square is actually located off of Far Hills on the 215. So my goal today is just to show you where it's located because there's not a lot right now being built. I do believe that a Richmond American has two townhomes already under construction right now, but everything else is just starting out. So it's just really literally brand spanking new. But since it's in Summerlin and it's a village, I thought I'd share this with you. Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in the valley and it's celebrating its 30 years this year Which is crazy that Summerlin's been around that long and they have probably about another 20 more years to go Before Summerlin is fully complete, which is also crazy to think that another 20 more years So this Red Point uh, Village and Square is actually going to take up another five acres of the Summerlin community and again, they're gonna have this big thing called Summerlin West, which I'll go over more in detail once I have more details about it. But basically right now, Summerlin West encompasses the Vistas Village, the Paseos Village, and Stonebridge, and then now Red Point and Red Point Square. So sit back, relax, and let's see what this is all about. So I am on my way to Red Point, and right now I'm on the 215. I'm gonna get off of Far Hills. Um, and then I'm going to head west on Far Hills. So if you haven't been up this way in a while, there's a lot going on. Just crazy to think how big Summerlin is now and how big Summerlin is going to be in the future. It's a never, ever ending growing community. <laughs> so we're going to just take a, it's going to be a very short video because there's not much to really look at right now because everything is just dirt. There's a few homes being built, but it's kind of exciting. It's always fun to look at new homes and to buy a new home. Um, and so let's just go see what this Red Point's all about. We're gonna drive. Listen to some Frank Zappa. So from what I'm understanding and what I've been reading and researching about Red Point is there's Red Point Village and then there's Red Point Square. So Red Point is going to be more of the luxury homes where you're going to have your Toll Brothers, your Taylor Morrison, Pulte, um, the more higher end homes. And then Red Point Square is going to have multi-family mixed use residential. So you have Morrow Rock, which is actually the Richmond American homes. There's going to be Crystal Canyon by Woodside. I don't know if you can see any of this. Let's turn that around. And then, um, there you go, a little better. So that's to the right. So you see some development going on right now. And then there's also a fire station. Let's just take a right. Let's see if they'll let us take a right and look at Morrow Rock and see what that encompasses. So the village square is gonna be, like I said, a multi-mixed use homes where there's gonna be townhomes, condos, and single family residentials. But it's gonna be like city urban life. It's gonna be very urban feel where you can walk um, to the different neighborhoods. So it's pretty crazy, the new concept that they have. The lots are gonna be a lot smaller. The homes are gonna be a lot closer. Um, but the point of this is so that the homes are a little more affordable for everyone else to live in Summerlin. So it's not just um, high-end homes in Summerlin. It's a little more affordable. And the starting ranges are going to be in the low 300s from what I've been reading up on. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I can't go any further, I don't think, because I am not... Uh, 
some more rock. Maybe I can go. Let's see. There's the red point sign. Let's check this bad boy out. The architecture style for this is, I think, Spanish architecture. And it coincides with the red rock. I'm going to get out of the car and show you better views. But I thought we would just drive right now and just check out. So there is some development. And all I know right now is Morro Rock is the only one that's really being developed right now. And I think they have model homes. So let's see if they do. Oh, cool. This is Desert Foothills. And I'm on Red Point. Huh. Interesting. It's going to be the Cascades by Taylor Morrison. Now selling in the low 300s, distinct townhomes. So from what I'm understanding also is that they're just taking in client interest. Uh, that's the only development that I see right now. We're going to have Taylor Morrison. It says from the high 300s, the Cascades. There's, I have on my website, I'm going to have some more specifics. And, you know, I, I've done some research on all of this. But I'm going to stop talking and we're just going to drive. Oh, my God. Wow. The views are phenomenal. <laughs> We're just going to drive real quick and then I'm going to get out and then show you these views. Wow. This is crazy. Anyway, <laughs> see you on the flip side. So this whole right side is going to be Red Point. So it's going to be a pretty big village. I think um, there's five acres of it. Uh, so it's going to be pretty big. And then to the left, I know you can't see, is we just passed the Vistas Village, Paseos Village, and then Stonebridge. If you're not familiar with Summerlin, uh, it's a pretty big master plan community. It's beautiful with the views, super close to Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. Um, lots of beautiful walking trails and Howard Hughes is one of the biggest builders. I obviously Howard Hughes is no longer alive, but anyway, so we're going up all the way to far Hills, all the way up to the top of the mountain. It's pretty interesting to think that this whole thing is going to be the red point village. So there's red point village, which is going to be on the top, all the way up top. And then the red point square is going to be further down. And eventually, eventually, which is going to be pretty cool, they're going to interconnect to Summerlin Parkway, which is finally going to happen. I remember when they were building Reverence, I was like, what? Reverence? Finally something off of Lake Mead? And now Reverence is old news. I'm going to flip my camera. Let's see if you guys can see from my little GoPro action, the views is very breathtaking all the way at the top of far hills right now um, you can see the entire valley of course today may not be a very good day to showcase all of that just because i think of all the smoke that's coming in from california we have gotten a lot of um, smoke from that i'm going to take a left back here on far hills and head back to red point where i'm going to show you nope wrong one whoops <laughs> If you guys know me, I'm not a good driver, especially when I have to talk and drive. <laughs> but when I have clients in the car, I'd be careful. I make sure I stop at the stop signs, okay? <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we're going to go back onto Desert Foothills. And Desert Foothills is the dividing lines between the Vistas Village and the Paseos Village. So I cannot wait to show you at least the starting point of this new master plan community called Red Point and Red Point Square. Again, see you on the flip side. So I'm out here at the newest Summerlin Village. I don't know if you can see from afar, but it has phenomenal views of downtown Las Vegas and the Strip, which is pretty crazy. 
just taking shape as we speak under construction and the funny thing is is that you know they're still building at Stonebridge not completely done with that lots of new homes there it's so bright out today hopefully this is gonna record nicely but this is Morrow Rock right there and these are gonna be townhomes in the mid to low 300,000 it's pretty crazy to think of all that's being developed out here and one day this will eventually meet at Summerlin Parkway and then also meet at um, Lake Mead. Pretty crazy. I am at Red Point and it's a windy day, of course, in Vegas. I hate my gimbal. <laughs> So basically this Red Point Village is supposed to be, or Village Square, is supposed to be more affordable than any other homes in Summerlin. As I was mentioned earlier, they're a lot closer together so they have less space in between the homes. It's going to be very tight, but you're still going to be in the Summerlin zip code and it's going to be part of the whole new Summerlin West Gateway. So hopefully as things progress, I'll be able to take more video of this awesome village and other villages that are going to take place here in Summerlin. Stay tuned for more information about Red Point. If you're interested in learning more, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. It's a short video just because there's not much here to report until more um, development takes place. We've got Ridge Pine Street and Red Point. And then Red Point goes all the way up to Desert Foothills. I didn't even know this road existed. I think that's the police department right there. Well, that concludes my tour of Red Point. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a very short tour. Not much to see right now, but as I get more information about this village and as new homes are being developed, I'll try to make sure that I cover it. If I have time, you know, I'm very busy, but I will make the time to, to show these villages to you. I'm on my way to Santa Rosa right now, which is a Lennar townhome community, doing a walkthrough with my client. So we're excited she closes next week so hopefully everything's okay and she's happy happy clients make happy Angela anyways if you like this video you know what to do right hit that thumbs up button leave a comment down below share with a friend and come on subscribe to my channel because I like to talk about a lot of things <laughs> and not just about real estate well maybe a lot about real estate anyways thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.